Opa! Okay, guys. Golly. I'm sorry for my delay. <clears throat> Things happen. I've got probably about 15 minutes to have a chat. So, um, so I wanted to give you an update. Um, golly. What it's a long week. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Anna. Hi, Stuart. I love the animals. Um, so we, we did hear back from Dr. Darcy today and, uh, hi, Cayman, Cesario, hi. Um, we did hear back from Dr. Darcy today and, um, you know, the results weren't, were not what we had hoped. So, um, you know, we, we obviously discussed the outcomes of this. Uh, she did find that it is a tumor behind the, the eyes, like we were kind of suspecting. And, um, you know, really the best thing to do is, is, is to let him pass peacefully. So, she did go ahead and, um, thank you, Taz. Hi, Tom. She did go ahead and, uh, help, help Taz go over the bridge. I feel like I can always control myself until I have to tell someone. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's just been, you know, a rough day. But, you know, again, it is what um, is best for him. And that's, it breaks our hearts, but it's best for him. And, and I can't imagine how, you know, that must feel and be awful. So it's best to, to let him not thank you, came in. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, Rob. I, I did see that. Uh, my mods sent that to me. My mods are wonderful. They're very on the ball. <laughs> I'm very grateful for them. They they don't miss a beat, I tell you. So, yeah. <laughs> Almost <laughs> sick of these little babies. Um, so, yeah. Oh, thank you. It's been a rough day, huh, Tom? Darn it. But we have to think of good things, you know. Um, we had a month longer than what he could have been. And, um, you know, we have the wherewithal and, and, and knowledge and medicines here that can make him comfortable and did make him comfortable. So, yes, Stuart, it really is, it's, it's highs and lows. It's just, you know, thank you, Reginald. Thank you. So, our sweet boy, I'm sad. Yeah, I mean, at least we know, and I think that knowledge is good. I think at least at this point, you know, we knew we can rule out, you know, we'll never wonder what, what if it was an infection or something like that. But we know. Thank you, Rob. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's just, he's just a, I did send Marco an email. Yeah, Marco sure loved him. We all loved him. He was so cute and just so <laughs> scruffy. Yeah. He was so scruffy. I wish they all could just live for like a hundred <laughs> billion years. I know. A Terry and a Tasco in one day. Rough. <laughs> so. He was. He was just very peaceful. Yep, he's a good boy. Both of them are just exceptional. So, you know, there's there's that. So, golly, we just need a bit of good news, but there is good news. Even when we think that there's not, there's good news. You know, we have Cheeto Puff here now. And, uh, I mean, he was 
set for euthanasia, and he's he's not, and he's doing well. Um, he he just took to being out here like wildfire. Um, you know, so there's good news in every day, so. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, the kittens are full of... Look at it's Quilleran. <laughs> it's a spoon. <laughs> Save your money. Send spoons. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the patchwork guy. Well, hello, Nalu. Hi. Good morning. You've been a lazy bums all day. God, kittens just, do you know, like, I forget the number, and someone out there probably knows who's much wiser than I am. Hi, Nalu! Kittens, well, kittens, I think, and cats, but it, they sleep for, like, some 19 hours in a day or something crazy. I think that's just wild. Um, yeah. How's willpower? Oh, pfft. Willpower doesn't realize anything ever is wrong. Okay, I took this. I hope this comes out well. <laughs> I just took this like 30 seconds ago. This is Willpower laying on top in the cabana on top of the, the purple tower thing. So this is his what? Right leg. And this is his left leg. He is stretched out. <laughs> That's his <laughs> leg stretched out. He doesn't know anything's wrong. He's fine. He just thinks. Yeah, he, he's a, just a rascal. I forget. Does anybody know what it is? It, um, let me see here. How many hours do kittens sleep? I forget what it was. It was something astronomical. Um, let's see here. Um, a, a newborn kitten's daily routine is 90% of the time, almost 22 hours they sleep. As kittens mature beyond the newborn, newborn stage, they sleep less. But even at six months of age, they still manage to spend about 16 to 20 hours a day dozing. Isn't that crazy? It was, I, I was like... I remember I heard that once, and I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, he'll be, oh, for sure. He has no qualms. What's that? Mr. Darcy. Hello. Can I get you something? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. We should Google FFRC kittens, because... They're hard to gauge on. Well, one, they wake up at the crack of dawn. Um, yeah, they're just really hard, hard to... No, I'm sorry, Rick. Um, you know what? And I didn't give you those dates. Why don't I just throw them out here real quick? Just so you have. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, nope, wrong one. Oh, and I forgot to do that. Um, so... Dobby's tail amputation will be 727. Will Power's leg amputation is going to be 822. And Cheeto Puff's full mouth extraction will be 824. I wish I could sleep for 20, 18 hours a day. That would probably be delightful. So... Um, as far as who is working tonight, um, you guys, you know, probably saw that, that our, our sweet, uh, Barb was just not feeling good tonight and that, that happens for sure. So, um, she did text me, she made it home safe and sound. So I hope she gets some rest that she desperately needs and feels better soon. On the flip side, I was able to reach out to Raven who, you know, bless her is, leaving Perrysburg right now so she can she'll be here in approximately an hour so I told the the kittens 
to just hold their horses and Raven will be in. And it's nice because Raven does know the night-night routine of who gets put away and who doesn't and stuff. The only thing is I've got to tell her about Cheeto Puff. She doesn't know about Cheeto Puff yet. Um, all right, so poor Jay's kid. Is there any way to fence in the drive so porches can be contained? No. Um, some of the porches, and I'm not all, and I couldn't give you names, but some of them had been in um, the cove, I believe, for a time, and um, they just break out. That they're, Most of those cats, I think, are ones, I believe, um, a lot of them are ones that have just kind of shown up over time, and they're just like, I live here. I, ideally, we would contain them all, but they're, they're uncontainable ones. Yeah, you guys will have a surprise Raven tonight. <laughs> Bless her heart for coming in on her night off. And uh, and she, you know, she loves these cats. She really does. Thank you, Suzanne. It's been a rough day. What you doing, Mr. Darcy? There's a lot of babies around, huh? Quillerian? Mr. Darcy? Hi, baby boy. Oh, no. No. Poor barn. Yep. Get it out. Get it out. Um. Oh. If I adopted willpower, I'd never have any power to get anything done. I'd have to hold him all the time. Yeah. Um. We're 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 going to dinner tonight, so. Um, we're going out to dinner at seven, so that'll be that'll be nice. I haven't seen our friends in oh golly, months. <laughs> So it'll be really fun. I'm excited to hang out with them. Um, and Barb said she is glad she left. She is not feeling great at all. So good thing she left when she did. So, all right. Well, I'm going to head out. Kitties, I need you to be on your best behavior. Okay. I love you lots. Um, they'll be okay. Oh, you did, Jim. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's fun. Hope he fits. He will. I'll just tell him to not, not grow anymore. Oh, Mike, that's so nice. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. I love, ugh, I love all the cats. So, um, on the upside, you want to hear real quick before I, I need to leave like right now, but really quick, um, you want to hear something super, super duper adorable. Dobby and Buckeye have become very fast friends. They, Dobby is just in love with Buckeye. Buckeye's the boy with the bad back. Dobby's the one that needs his tail amputated. Um, he just looks up to Buckeye, so I keep telling Buckeye, you need to show him good manners. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm sorry for the rougher day. I'm hoping tomorrow's going to have a better day. Thanks, Schley. Eric's excited. He's super, super duper supportive, like one million percent of the time, but he is having a couple days where he's like, it would be nice to see ya. <laughs> so we'll spend some time tonight. Thank you guys. Um, and I will see you tomorrow before work. See you then. Ladies, if you could.